Hi guys, welcome back to Something Spiritual. It's going to be a general reading for the collective. It is general, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest, and characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. This may not be your reading at all, or this reading may be about someone in your vicinity. Alright. First card out, Ace of Pentacles. Stable new beginning. The world. And the sun. Happiest card in the deck. Something new and happy is coming your way. Four of Cups, though. <clears throat> what this Four of Cups? There's some sort of hesitancy with it accepting it. Queen of Swords. You have your guard up. So something new, something that's going to make you very happy, but then there's a little bit of hesitancy about accepting it because your guard is up. <clears throat> Intimacy. It's starting over. It's definitely a new beginning. Might be afraid to um, marriage could lead to marriage. <clears throat> Might be afraid to start over. Twin flame. Wow. What is up with this intimacy card here? Unawakened. What is up with intimacy? <clears throat> Very soon. Hmm. Letting go. Someone might typically place too much focus on a se sexual aspect of a relationship. Um, but I mean, we have mostly good cards here. Um, well, not that intimacy is a bad card, but... Um, Ace of Pentacles, the sun, the world, marriage, twin flame, starting over. <clears throat> Between the lines, friends. Maybe it does start as friends first. Maybe it's not initially the way you like things to begin. Maybe it doesn't begin super passionately. What's between the lines here? Between the lines. Unfinished business. What is unfinished? Hook up. Now we have two sex cards. What is unfinished about a hook up? unfinished regarding a hookup or between the lines. Soul recognition. No choice. I mean, this could be something that started as a hookup. You get unfinished business and hookup. Or maybe it didn't start out. I mean, obviously these are general, so maybe it didn't start out that way. So you feel like it's unfinished business because you don't know what that side of the relationship would be like? <clears throat> Tell me more. Soul contract. 
And lies. What are we lying about? Separation. This definitely could have had a ending of sorts. Maybe someone wasn't being honest that they weren't done with whatever this was. <clears throat> the book hidden. There's something hidden in here. Waterfall, flood of emotions. Tell me about what's hidden. The Wolverine, unpredictable. Something unpredictable is, or something that you're not seeing because we did it between the lines. So what's hidden here? <clears throat> Hold on. What are we hiding? The anchor. What is it that's hidden here? This just fell out. Missing you. What is it that's hidden? But that's also sex, right? Like, why is sex such a theme here? Why is sex such a theme here? <clears throat> Divorce and union? I mean, starting over could also, to me, starting over with the same person. Maybe there was something that happened where you had sex with someone. It's separated, but now it's coming back in a different... Like, both people feel like there's something unfinished. Like, we weren't just supposed to have sex. Maybe. I'm feeling like two different stories here. <clears throat> One-sided. It feels like... It feels like one si one situation was a hookup that now is going to turn into something else. Other situation feels like the opposite of that. It's like something stable and new coming in that hasn't really gone to that level yet. I don't know. Either way, it's a new beginning. Spiritual awakening. Self-worth. These could be two different situations that you're dealing with. Mm. Mm. But if you have one situation where you got to hook up with someone and it feels unfinished, right? And then you have another situation where it's um, solid and stable and happy, but maybe you haven't gotten to the intimacy part yet, so you don't know how that's going to work. That could be it too. It could be... It's, I mean, obviously general, so it's either you're going to resonate with one half the story or the other half, or both, or none at all. So, <clears throat> alright, anything else here? Soulmate. Getting with a soulmate here. A new love. And home. So regardless, this is a new beginning. It's basically... <clears throat> Which, it feels like there might be two people. A more sexual-based connection. It's like if you watch The Bachelor, right? There's always the one couple that's more, like, you can tell it's more sexual, right? But there's really not a whole lot of connection otherwise, right? And then there's the relationship where maybe they don't have as strong of a sexual connection, at least judging by the TV, and but they have a great conversation, right? It feels like it might be one of those situations where it's like, which way do you want to go? 
All right, guys, I think that's going to be all. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon or It's Simply Spiritual. And um, <clears throat> if you're interested in either of these two decks, they're available on Etsy. Uh, it's Simply Spiritual is the shop name and it's all linked below. All right, guys, bye.